hi guys good morning welcome back to another vlog if you are new here my name is maggie and yeah so welcome subscribe if you're new um follow me on instagram it is always linked today i'm doing another day in my life here in boston i'm so excited i'm actually getting ready to leave right now and i have a lot to do today and i need to put on a pair of shoes what pair of sneakers to wear today emma what pair of sneakers do you think i should wear with this Okay. Emma and I are heading out. I just have on this t-shirt. Um, it's a TNA, just like cropped a little t-shirt from Maurizia. And then I have on some TNA biker shorts also from Maurizia. So a little Maurizia outfit today. And then my white Yeezys, my room is a mess i just got back from spending the weekend at my boyfriend tyler's house so i really need to take care of that and clean it but now is not the moment we need to leave we have an appointment to go to oh they give us water there so i shouldn't bring my water right okay You can't really see them. I'll have to show you guys outside. But nails and toes are done. They look so good. It was much needed. My nails were literally so long. I feel like you will be able to see my color better. Um, oh, we go to Boston Nails and Spots right next to Sweet Green. <laughs> Emma's vlogging too. It's right next to Sweet Green and Be Good on Boylston Street. Um, you just have to kind of go and like press this little button on the side and then it lets you up. But this is my nail color. It's like a light blue. It has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. I don't know the name of it. I think it might be called under the C and then my toes are just like a really light pink S -y. and I just kind of go in and pick a dip off of like the little nail thing that they have and then see whatever color I want for that day and basically it's just like whatever I'm in the mood for so I wanted to get like another color color because I had like a lime green on my nails and um, they were just really grown out so I wanted to get something different and we're going to Hawaii in two days so I, or three days so I wanted to get something that was going to be like still a little bit more summery and just like a fun color instead of just getting like a light pink or a nude or something like that so I just wanted to um, get something different so I got like a little light blue it's so hot out we're I can't believe it. It's like the end of September and the weather, it feels like it's summer still. It's really crazy. Spot to be. Is it good? Thank you. I got the juice called the six and I honestly can't see that far because I'm not wearing my glasses. Oh yeah, Emma just said it. Kale, spinach, broccoli, cucumber, ginger, lemon. So it's that one right there. And I love when there's broccoli and juices. I just feel like it adds like a little zing, <laughs> you know? So it's really good. So we got the juice, we got the juice, we got the sauce. What song is that? I've been obsessed with this salad recently. I put it in a vlog from last week sometime. Um, oh, it was my morning routine. I got this for lunch like at the end of the video and it's like the buffalo chickpea salad from Mother Juice. It's so good. Cause I'm obsessed with buffalo chicken but obviously this is just like plant-based and it's so yummy and it has like a ranch on top that's made out of hemp seeds. It has avocado, red chili flakes, which are my favorite and just like a bunch of veggies down, down below, <laughs> down <laughs> underneath here. And this stuff literally tastes like buffalo chicken. It's so yummy. Emma's trying it for the first time, so she said she'll be the verdict. 
It's good, right? Yeah, it's so good. Oh my god. This is so good. I want more. We're finally home. And I'm trying to get like my life together. Um, because Arlen's gonna come over in a little bit and we're gonna film the official apartment tour for Emma and I's apartment, which is gonna definitely be up before this video, so you guys can check that out. I will have it linked. That's what's going down today. I just need to clean up my room a little bit. We just got whew, a bunch of new packages in the mail um, and stuff, so I need to work on getting my room organized. I have like a ton of stuff back here on my bed that I need to put away and I have a ton of stuff over here on my um, dresser that I need to put away just things that I got in the mail and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that everything organized right now um, I got some amazing things in the mail I just need to like really figure out when I'm gonna do certain hauls and videos I really need to plan it I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do it before Hawaii um, but I'm really gonna try my hardest just because I have a lot of things that I want to show you guys and I'm super excited about oh and also I came home and I changed into one of Tyler's t-shirts and a pair of joggers um, because my apartment is so cold and I just like I don't know I'm in fall mode I don't like when it's hot right now fall honestly is my favorite season just because I love the weather I love how it's so like crisp and cool outside but it's not like super super cold so like I love like the 60s weather um, and I just love like still being tan from summer but having the weather not be so hot and like I don't go outside and start sweating when I'm outside you know what I mean like walking around and stuff that's probably one of my least favorite things is like going outside to do something and I love walking places and just like instantly starting to sweat I hate that so um, yeah, anyway, like I said before, I'm just going to clean up my room right now. So my room is almost clean. I got all of my clothes put away, which is really nice. Um, and I just have a few more things that I need to do. I need to put this in the pile to pay all of my bills that I need to pay and then I just have some sweatshirts right here which I'm gonna go hang in my sweatshirt closet and then I cannot forget to pack these tampons with me when I go to Hawaii I just got a brand new box of Lola's Lola they are my favorite tampons and I am obsessed with them they are 100% organic cotton and they have a BPA free plastic applicator and they're amazing they just have no th no synthetics fragrances they're hypoallergenic and I've been using these for months now and I really love them because you can like customize your subscription and they get sent to you every single month so you are like prepared for when you are getting your period I usually try to track mine on an app on my phone just so I know like when it's coming and I know um, if I'm gonna be traveling if I'm gonna be home or not so obviously I'm not gonna be and it's convenient because they just got shipped right to my door and I didn't have to like go back out and buy any tampons to prepare for my trip and I just love them because like I said you guys can get a subscription and they can get shipped to you whether you're like in college I feel like this would be so helpful I wish that I had this when I lived in the dorms because I used to have to walk to CVS I didn't have a car on campus so I'd have to walk there and get everything I needed and then walk back but it just would have been so convenient to get like shipped to me there and you can also personalize your box so you can like change up whatever absorbances you want and stuff like that so it's very customizable for you and what you like and also something else which is so important is that it is a company that was created and it's run by all women so I love that I just love supporting other women and companies that they have and that they've started I just think that that's amazing so you guys should totally check them out I love that everything that they stand for and also when you make a purchase on their website and you subscribe to them they also give back feminine care products to homeless shelters across the United States which is something that I love about them and I say this every single time but I feel like for me I am very fortunate and I am lucky to have the luxury of being able to buy feminine care products every single month but there are people out there that don't and there are people out there who can't afford it and I think that Obviously, it's something that we shouldn't have to pay for, but that's a whole nother story. Um, but I just love that 
when I'm doing something that I normally do every month, just buying tampons, they are also giving back to people who can't afford them, people in need, well, women in need, so that's something that I really love about them and you guys can check them out I have a discount code that you can use if you want to get your own subscription um, you can just go to mylola.com and enter the promo code Maggie for 40% off I will leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to check them out but um, I just got my new box in the mail so I just wanted to quickly mention that to you guys if you haven't heard of it before or haven't heard me talk about it on my channel and um, I just wanted to let you guys know and keep you in the loop of everything because when I find products that I love, I love sharing them with you guys and letting you know, filling you in, spreading the word. This lighting is so bad in my bathroom, um, but I just have some more things I'm gonna get organized in my bathroom and then hopefully be ready to film this apartment tour. I just realized when I put my watch on earlier, it's dead. It wasn't charging and I don't know why. So I just went to check what time it is because I know that Emma and I have a workout. Um, and I want to get this video filmed, get it up for you guys so you can see it because it's been so long awaited on my channel. I know a lot of you guys have been like patiently, patiently waiting and the apartment's finally done. So I'm super excited, um, but I'm going to clean this stuff up in my bathroom right now. See if we can get it organized. The apartment is all ready to be filmed for the official tour. Arlen just got here and we're gonna film it right now. You guys would have already seen this video like I saw before, like I said before, but. Oh, <laughs> that works. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. So Arlen just left. Oh, we got everything done to film the apartment tour. I'm so excited to see how it turns out just because he's so good at editing and stuff. And it's just gonna be different than my normal videos. Um, it's gonna be just like a different little change of pace. Instead of it being like vlog style and how I was gonna show it to you guys, um, it's gonna be a lot cooler. So I hope you guys liked that. And hopefully it comes out really good. I'm so excited to see it. I know it's gonna come out good, but anyway, um, I'm gonna head over to Whole Foods and probably grab some groceries. It's 6.24. I don't know what Emma wants to have for dinner. I don't even know where she is right now. I need to track her. Cause she went to a yoga sculpt class and I didn't work out today because um, I had stuff to do. I really wanted to film that video and get it up for you guys before I leave for Hawaii. And that was like the only time that I could film it. And I didn't work out today because of that. Um, so yeah, I just had a lot to do, which is okay. Life gets in the way. But I'm gonna go get some groceries probably. I need to blow my candle. So that would be really bad. Um, and then see where the night takes us. I really wanna eat dinner on the rooftop tonight. Arlen was talking about doing something like that. So I feel like that would be, would be really fun. I just don't know what Emma wants to have. So I might have to call her and ask. I and mean, then I'll probably just end up picking up like some more food for the rest of the week because we're leaving on Thursday. So we have a few days before we leave that we get to like cook at home and eat at home. So I'm gonna really take advantage of the time that we're home and cook and make food and stuff like that because we're gonna be gone for 10 days and we're gonna be eating out every day, every meal. So might as well just go buy groceries instead of like buying food, which would be easier. So we don't have to like, I don't know, but anyway. Yeah, you guys probably don't care at all. I'm gonna call Emma and go to Whole Foods and maybe do like a little mini grocery haul. Sun is setting right now and it looks so good. You guys can't see it from this far, but look how pretty that is. The sky literally just like gets golden and turns colors and we can see it right out the window. It's so pretty. This is like my favorite thing about our view, just being able to see the sunset every single day. you guys a little bit of what I got. Got some basil, um, some new Rayo's sauce. This one is the best. Wait, I don't even think you guys can see. I'm gonna try to turn on a light right here. That might be better. Some Rayo's 
sauce. This is the best sauce for brown rice pasta or like chickpea pasta or even normal pasta. Doesn't really matter. Um, but I get the tomato basil and it's so good. So got some of that. And then also got some more so delicious unsweetened coconut milk to have with our smoothies in the morning. And then it got some more ginger. Emma, we needed ginger, right? Yeah, we needed ginger, so got some more ginger. And then I just got two big things of broccoli. Oh, also these bags are the best. They're from Amazon. They're just like little produce bags, reusable, obviously. And I'm getting broccoli all over my counter. And then I got some romaine to make a salad with and some hummus. This one is really good. It's called Samira's homemade jalapeno hummus. I love the jalapeno one. It's like very spicy and I love anything spicy. So super yummy. And then I also got some um, little shots for Emma and I. I got a immunity boost. And then I also got a wellness rescue just because we're gonna be traveling. And these ones are seriously the best if you're feeling sick or you just want to boost your immune system. Well, these ones are immunity boost, but if you're feeling sick, use these because they're really good and they make you like instantly feel better and i've been kind of feeling a little bit weird like in my throat recently so i picked up some of those for us and then oh i got <laughs> this is bad i got this little thing of tomatoes but they spilt all over the bag usually when i buy like the open container of tomatoes they'll like put it in a plastic bag and like put i mean not a plastic bag like a paper bag and put like a rubber band around it so they don't go everywhere, but it was not the case today, but it's all good. Oh, and then I got a big, I literally almost called it a cucumba. <laughs> I got a big cucumber for a salad, which is so good with what I'm about to show you. Just putting those little tomatoes and then some spring mix with cucumber and like a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So yummy and olive oil. And then I got some bok choy. And then also, what is this? Oh, some avocados. I got avocados, which is amazing because they were so ripe and ready. Um, and usually I feel like they're hard as a rock at Whole Foods, but not today, so that was good. And then I got a big thing of dino kale, the best kale. Got some lemons in here. And then last but not least, got some carrots because I wanna make like a dinner tomorrow night, I think, with kale, bok choy, carrots and like a coconut rice so we're gonna do that probably tomorrow so i picked up this stuff so this is everything that i got this will last emma and i for the next probably two few days um we can get a few meals out of this which will be key and then we are off to hawaii so that is a little grocery haul update oh and also i get a lot of questions on instagram specifically about like grocery shopping and um just questions about like how to afford healthy groceries in college and you don't have to shop at whole foods though literally the only reason why emma and i do is because it is so convenient for us um there are so many other grocery stores to shop at i definitely would just make sure that what you're getting is um just like fresh produce and stuff and if you just don't buy like the processed snacks and the processed foods you'll be fine and i feel like shopping for healthy foods does not necessarily have to be expensive there are different ways to like buy healthy food it doesn't have to be the most money um and also i feel like a lot of the processed like packaged foods are ex really expensive anyway like i feel like it's like five dollars for like a bag of like whatever snack and when you could get like a thing of hummus for three dollars and then get like a few cucumbers for like a dollar and um, you have a really healthy snack versus just going out and buying like a box of like Oreos or like a thing of Doritos, which obviously everybody's different. Um, that's just some tips that I have. So yeah, if you just buy like fresh produce, my mom, a tip that my mom always taught me growing up, which is what I used to do when I was in college and I was trying to save money. I used to shop the perimeter of the grocery store because if you think about it, the perimeter is where you walk in and there's like the fresh fruits and vegetables and then usually it's like the meats and dairy in the back and then on the side there's like the yogurts and whatever else they have but if you just think about it the perimeter of the grocery store is where all of like your whole foods are going to be and then the inside aisles is where you're going to find all of like the processed stuff so my mom always just taught me to shop the perimeter so if you guys are looking to like buy healthier groceries doesn't matter where you go um you should just definitely try that out and 
that should help but i really don't know what to do because i'm not that hungry i had some hummus and crackers a little while ago while i was waiting for emma to come home and there's a soul cycle class at 7 30. i need to check what time it is right now oh it's 6 58 i don't think i'd be able to make it just because I need to like put all this stuff away, get dressed, drive there, park, all of that. And I feel like I have to leave. I would have to leave right now. So I don't have time, but it's okay. I feel like a day off. Well, I just took like the whole weekend off working out, but like I really wanted to like get a good sweat in and I can't even go to the infrared sauna because it's closed. So we're just gonna have to make do and all that. So we're gonna put these away and figure out what we're gonna do um, to, for dinner tonight and I'll update you guys when that time comes. <laughs> this is some real life updates right now. I am sitting down. This is normally what I do. I do this once a month. Usually it's towards the end of the month and I will sit down and I will open up a tab on my computer for every single bill I have to pay. <laughs> so I open up electric, my car insurance, my car my rent even though obviously it's not due till like the first of the month i just usually pay it like a little bit early um so i don't forget and then we also need to do my student loans and then also my credit card to make sure that everything is up to date the things that you have to do when you're old you know like real life <sighs> yeah what do you want to have well same but i don't know what to have but it's really important to make sure that like you are doing them on time obviously because then it like helps your credit and all that stuff and it's very important for when you're older and you are trying to like get your own apartment or like buy a house one day or have a car or just like a bunch of different things um having good credit is very important and it's something that i have had to like start doing myself um, over the past like year or so year and a half um, and it's very hard I feel like when my parents got divorced like I didn't really have any like direction on like what to do they just kind of like I don't know I just feel like I just like got kind of like cut off from like my parents and then had to like figure everything out by myself and so I'm like slowly learning day by day um, like how to deal with everything on my own but like it hasn't been that bad so just like keeping up with your stuff is key and paying your bills on time and all that stuff so i'm gonna pay my bills right now and emma's really hungry we're gonna figure out what to make for dinner oh. so emma made this big fresh salad when I was in the shower and it has mixed greens, tomato and cucumber, which I cut up. And then what did you do for dressing? Apple cider vinegar, balsamic, salt and pepper. Yeah. So it was super simple. And then a side of pasta. I used brown rice pasta and then some rayo sauce and put nutritional yeast. And it adds almost like a creamy, cheesy consistency to it. But um, you're just adding like nutritional value to your food. It's like one of my favorite things to add. You can literally put it on anything. So this is what we're having for dinner. Just super simple, quick, and easy. I need to do, whoa, my camera is always zoomed. I need to do my dishes from dinner. But there's just nothing better than taking a shower. And I put on this new um, like pimple cream that I've been using. It's not the Mario Badescu, it's a different brand. And I will share it with you guys in my favorites video coming soon. But it works really well and it has like better, cleaner ingredients. And also I wanted to say, as I was thinking of it, I feel like I feel so much more like comfortable and like me when I'm wearing no makeup and when I have like comfy clothes on. I don't know, it's just so weird. Like, I was wearing makeup today because I filmed my apartment tour video with Arlen and I put a little bit of makeup on and I wanted to like, I don't know, like get ready a little bit. And I just felt like so uncomfortable. And I don't know, I know that everybody's different, but for me, I just feel so much more comfy like when I just am like wearing no makeup and have like my natural skin. Um, and thankfully my skin's like been good recently 
except for a few of these little bumps that I have on my skin right now, but that's what spot treatment is for. But yeah, I just wanted to, it's just weird how much, like how much better you can feel when you feel like yourself and you feel comfortable. Our water in our apartment like gets super, super hot in the sink. I just like burnt my finger. This stuff smells so good. It's my favorite to clean with. It's the Myers multi-surface spray. I'm like addicted to like just cleaning all the surfaces with it. Especially in our apartment, it can be kind of difficult because everything's white. So like the littlest spots you can see on stuff, but that stuff comes in like so handy. Did you finish the ice cream? No. Oh. And we got ice cream from FOMU and it's like a plant-based place to get ice cream in Boston. And it was so good and she just ate the rest of it. But I guess I'll just have Honey Mamas instead. Yeah, I don't really feel like waiting for it. I might have one of these. I'm gonna have one of these. Yeah. These are so good. It's the Unreal Chocolate, Dark Chocolate Coconut Bar. And it tastes like a mounds, but the ingredients are very, very clean. Yeah, you can look it up online, but you guys have probably heard of this brand before. These are so yummy. So Emma and I got like a little pack of them and we have them in the fridge. And I like to have them at night after I eat dinner or like honey mamas or anything. And now we're gonna make some tea. It's almost time to go to bed because we have an early workout in the morning. Ooh, oh, I forgot my room doesn't have a light. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I guess I'm gonna start to end off the vlog because I'm literally just gonna drink tea and go to bed. Probably watch a few YouTube videos on the couch over here and then go to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, follow me on Instagram, all of that. And I hope that you liked it and stay tuned because I have more vlogs coming. Obviously, I talked about Hawaii all day today, but the Hawaii vlog is coming we're going to a few different islands so i'm gonna do like specific vlogs for each place that we go um i think but we'll see i haven't figured it out yet but anyway make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching i love you and i will see you in my next one bye guys